see anybody go by here, did you? Because somebody just somehow found out where my hotel room is and slipped this query letter under my door. And if you want to know how to creep an agent out, find out where her hotel room is and slip a query letter under the door. I'm out. Seriously. Agents, you know, we're not easy to freak out. Look what we read for a living. Horror and suspense and sexy romances and westerns. We're really not that difficult to freak out. But there are ways. There are ways to really creep out an agent. And besides that, I've got four more. Four more ways to creep out an agent. Now, most of these are best done at a conference because you get that special one-on-one -on -one hotel interaction. However, you could try them over a query letter. It's probably not going to be quite as effective. Number two, best way to creep out an agent, aggressively complain to everybody at the conference about the agent after your pitch session. So much so that when all the other faculty get together later in the night over cocktails or dinner or just to catch a moment alone, they're all going to say, so who spoke to that author who was complaining about that agent so aggressively? It was kind of freaky. And eventually, you're going to figure out it's you. And that agent's going to think, oh no, I'm out of here. Which might be why I'm hiding in my room. Number three way to creep out an agent. Don't leave the pitch. Just don't leave. No matter how many times the agent tries to wrap up, or better yet, how many times you've been told your time is up, your time is up, I'm sorry, your time is up, you're going to stay because gosh darn it, you need to prove to this agent as aggressively as possible that she needs to request your book and you're not going to leave. Even better way to creep out an agent is if the conference coordinators organize the pitch sessions so that you're alone with the agent in a room with a closed door with nobody else. Creep out number three. Number four way to creep out an agent. Always bring your significant other, but only if your significant other is up to the creeping out task. Now the best way to do that is for the significant other to do a lot of back rubbing to the agent. Maybe some up and down with the eyes. You know what I mean. Maybe to be super supportive by wooing all the younger agents. That works every time. Number five way to creep out an agent. If you're a writer of sexy books, oh, you don't have to be a writer of sexy books, but you need to talk as if you're a writer of sexy books because we all know that writers of sexy books can only prove that they can successfully write sexy books if they talk sexy all the time. You know, innuendos, hints, maybe even suggestive stories about their own love life because then we know they're doing the research, right? Yep, that'll creep out an agent every single time. So, good luck to you because now you have the five key tools to really go to those conferences and creep out that agent. Good luck to ya. Hey Buford, don't you think everybody should subscribe to our YouTube videos? I do. They should also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and check out our website for a ton more great information just like they heard today. And of course, to find out how to become a Bookends client.